What's up guys, John here, the Wolf of Ecom. And in this video, I'm gonna break down for you how to crisscross your ad accounts. What I mean by that is how do you share pixels across multiple business managers, across multiple ad accounts. You'll need to do this at some point, especially as you scale them. The biggest reason why, in my opinion, of why you wanna do this, well, first and foremost, is because of diversification, right? So even if you're selling the cleanest products that Facebook loves, there is always a chance that if you maybe scale too aggressively for the first time, or if you just have bad luck one day, right? Which uh, is very likely to happen in the Facebook space, you will have your ad account disabled. So if you're scaling aggressive, let's say you have a branded product, right? And you're doing, you know, 10 to $20,000 a day in ad spend, and that's bringing in hopefully at least 20 to $60,000 in sales. Well, the last thing you want to have happen is suddenly everything just dries up, your ad account gets disabled and your ad spend goes to zero because that means your traffic from ad spend is going to go to zero as well. So what I want to show you is how to diversify with multiple ad accounts. This is really good if you're running drop shipping products too, because if you're anything like me, you run one pixel on the whole store. That's a myth in my opinion that you need a new pixel for every product or anything like that. The pixel just transfers data. That's for a whole nother video. What I want to talk with you here though is about how to do the technical side of crisp crossing everything. So when you move from uh, ad account number one and business manager number two, you can use the pixel that is on your store that's actually made and created and stored within business manager one. This will make more sense as you actually set it up. But the, just think of this as we want to crisscross all of our ad accounts, all of uh, the access that everyone has to it and all of the business managers and all of its assets, right? So that's mainly your pixels and your ad accounts and then also who can use those pixels and ad accounts, okay? So let's just go ahead and share my screen and here we go. So as you can see here, here's a product that we have been selling for, let's see, it's been quite a while, maybe a month or two, okay? So it's done pretty well, a reported 1.91 ROAS, we break even at 1.39. And it's probably more like a 2.5 if you did the whole store's revenue. So I wanted to move this into another ad account just to diversify. This is a product that Facebook is cool with us selling, but there's always a chance that it could get the ad account disabled. So I, what I want to do is I want to run it in another ad account that's another business manager, okay? I also did that as well because I want to protect the business manager because I don't want, let's say I lose the business manager, I don't want five ad accounts in one business manager that I'm, I'm using to run one product to all be out of business on the same day in the same moment, right? I, I want my risk diversified, okay? So I have my business manager number two with that account number one in it and my business manager one with its own ad account number one, okay? So what I did is very simple, okay? So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we have our second ad account here, right? So I actually just moved this so we need to get our business managers here. I'm gonna open this up in a new tab. You can't see the campaign names or maybe that account names, but just uh, follow along, you'll see exactly what it is that we're doing, okay? So now I wanna have the business manager open that I want to share access across from, all right? What I'm gonna do is very simple. I'm gonna double check which one it is because sometimes it changes business managers on you. This is the new one that we're gonna be um, scaling into, okay? I'm gonna open another tab in that little wheel all right, so now that we have this open, we're gonna to want to switch business managers. So I'm gonna to go to the right business manager. Bada bing, bada boom, here we go. So I'm gonna go back to business manager number one. First, I'm gonna, I need to crisscross everything. So basically like the ad accounts here, and then any pixels I'm using here, and then I, I wanna add those to the other business manager, and then vice versa, do the same thing the other way, okay? So I'm first gonna go into business info. I'm gonna grab this my business manager ID, I'm gonna copy that, and then I'm gonna go into business manager number two, I'm gonna go partners. I have already done it, but basically what you would do is you wanna do give a partner access to your assets. You would hit this, it's already done, so it's, uh, it might let me do it again, okay. So uh, easiest way to do it, you just hit your ad accounts, you'll have to, I'll have to scroll down all the way, cause I have like a million, I literally have like 80 ad accounts, it's kinda cool. Uh, doesn't really matter though if you lose the if you lose a business manager. I'm just gonna select all, or you just select the ones you want. You just hit manage ad account, and then I'm gonna go to pixels, select all right there, and then I would just hit save changes and voila. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want all these shared across. Okay, uh, just I just don't need it right now. 
right? So that is it. So I would say that, okay. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here, basically repeat the process. I'm gonna grab the ID here, go back to business manager number one, go to partners, add, give a partner access, put the ID, voila, add accounts, select all, manage, pixels, select all or whichever ones you want and save, okay? And then I would save, I'm not gonna save because I've already done it for the ones I've wanted, okay? Now, here's the next thing you need to do. You need to go into uh, both ad accounts, just to triple check, or it, actually one of them might uh, work now because you've crisscrossed everything. You may wanna do this as well, just do a quick refresh on either one because they both should have the same pixels and the same ad accounts at least the ones that you share across, okay? They should be in both business managers. So either business manager should work for this. Here's where we're gonna actually crisscross everything and assign people to them, okay? So like, let's say I go into uh, pixels. You can't see the names of these pixels. Sorry about it. Let's say I wanted to use this pixel, okay? First, I would hit add assets. I'm gonna select all that accounts and add, voila. And then next, I wanna go add people. And usually, unless you have some different setup, I just add everyone and assign and voila. And that's it. At this point now, if I go into any ad account, regardless of what business manager I'm signing to, I'm gonna be able to select the, the correct pixel without having to go back and do all this, these little steps again, right? So I would suggest you do all this right away. Anytime you make a new ad account or for some reason you make a new pixel, you will need to repeat these steps, just keep that in mind, okay? And you always have this video here waiting to help you whenever you need it. All right, the next thing and last thing you're gonna wanna do if you've been running custom audiences, right? So like I've been doing a lot of work like lately, they've been working very well. Quick hint, if you are struggling to find good audiences, build up your lookalikes and your data. Okay, so like if you if I go into my my campaign here, this guy that's been running for a while, some of my best performers like this, uh, let's see, my interests have crushed in here, but like this one has 69 purchases, 87 purchases, uh, you know, 33 purchases. So my lookalikes have been doing well, and that's actually what's been the most stable. We'll talk about in another video. Uh, but what I want to do now is I want to go to our audiences, open this always in the new tab. Okay. And now I, if you've already made lookalikes, obviously this is where this comes in. Okay. So I'm going to go to where my lookalike was originally created, right? So if, remember, if you go back in our videos, you're going to see that first you make a custom audience, which is the exact people that fit the criteria. Maybe it's people that have added to the card. Maybe it's people that have made a purchase. And then once that is populated, then you can off of that custom audience, like you see this one right here, if I select this, I can create a lookalike. Okay. I've already done it. So I can't do it now. Uh, watch our videos on lookalikes. If you want to see that it should be a link in the description. All right, but I have my uh, lookalikes here and you could actually choose a custom audience as well. So first double check that you're in the right ad account because like it, usually you're gonna see, like let's say if I open this one, there shouldn't be anything here. It's gonna be empty. Oh, okay, so I, I made a few, but uh, the point is that it's, it's probably gonna be empty, you're gonna be confused. All you need to do is look in the top right and make sure it's the correct ad account. So let me go back. All right, so I'm gonna select everything I wanna share and do a relaunch with in the second ad account or third ad account, right? So I'm gonna select all of the lookalikes. Maybe I wanna do the custom audience if I wanna do some retargeting, I'm gonna hit share. But let's say I type in, uh, yeah, so if I've already, if it's within the same business manager natively, right? So like, let's say I've made a bunch of ad accounts in this one business manager, it should let me just uh, add to the, to the new ad account right away. If not, what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go in, let's say we go into the business manager, probably the easiest place to find it. I'm gonna go up to ad accounts, I'm gonna select the ad account, and I'm gonna copy this right here, okay? So that is our, go back to audiences. All right, so all I would do is I would type it. So I've already done it, obviously, and that's why the name shows here. So usually after you share it once, like across ad accounts, it'll be super easy to find. Again, you can just type the ad account name in. If not, put in the ID, okay? And then I would hit share. And it's already shared, so it may not. Okay, let me do it. But basically that's it, guys. So at this point, I can go into either ad account. I'll have access to the same pixel. 
and the same audiences, okay? And remember, anytime you make anything new, you maybe you make new uh, ad accounts in the business manager, it's not gonna have access to the pixels, the same people aren't gonna have access to it, so you will always need to add assets, whether that be people, pixels, and then if you make other new business managers or you create new ad accounts, you need to crisscross everything as well across business managers, okay? So hope that helps, guys, and as always, we have just launched our four-day program that's gonna help you create a store, find great products, and then test them and scale them, specifically with Facebook ads. If you wanna do this and stop losing money, okay, whether you've been in this for a while or you're just getting started, this is perfect for you. If you wanna learn how to do e-commerce right, okay, how we do it, and you can see the link to that in the description. We're offering a major discount, so you don't need to buy some expensive course to get started or just to get on the right track, okay? Make sure to check that out. We're not gonna have it available forever. At least, uh, I don't plan on keeping it up there forever, okay? Because a lot of people have already been taking advantage of that. All right, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And as always, drop a comments you have below if you have any questions about how to do this crisscross strategy for your scaling, okay?